Hi guys, welcome to this month's video. As you see, I'm in a different location. I am in Annecy. So yeah, welcome to this first vlog of the channel. Um, we just arrived yesterday. We're gonna get our accreditations now. And yeah, I'm gonna show you around. Uh, let's see how this goes because every time I travel, I tend to forget to take pictures and videos and all of that. So. I'm gonna need to be constantly reminding myself to film. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm excited to show you around and all that and I hope you enjoy. And yeah, welcome to Annecy. Let's go into voiceover mode because as anticipated, this was a bit of a mess, but it'll be fine, promise. Here I am showing off my accreditation and my beautiful tote bag. Uh, it's so lovely. It's designed by Jorge Gutierrez, who designed everything in the festival. This year, the theme was Mexico, as you see from all the decorations going around. And yeah, he, uh, in case you don't know who he is, he's the director of uh, the Book of Life. Uh, this is the famous comic book store. Uh, you'll find art books, comic books, everything in between. Uh, I bought a book. I'll show you later on in the video. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. went to the beach a couple of times. Uh, I've never been to this beach before. It was very lovely. A bit further out in town, but yeah, it's just like 15 minute walk from town. So yeah, it was also a really nice swim. Like it was so warm all these days in Annecy, which I'm not complaining. Uh, I like being warm. This is another beach I went to the day after while Mark was having an interview at the MIFA. I just went for a swim and look at the scenery, it's so beautiful. Uh, this is the part of the stands. Um, this was a bit of a fail because it was super crowded and uh, I wanted to go the next day and film because it was just too many people but we never got back so yeah, uh, this is all you get. It's kind of sad, sorry. And here we are queuing to get the book I bought signed by Jorge Gutierrez. It's probably the only queue I've done in my three years going to Annecy and it was completely worth it. We got to talk to him. He's such a cool guy, uh, really nice. He, we took a picture with him. He signed our book and yeah. Also, I'm super happy to have found this book. I didn't know it existed. I knew about these illustrations because I have them on my Pinterest board and I reference them a lot, but not all of them are online. They're amazing and I find myself reaching out to them a lot. So I feel that now that I have the book, it will be easier for me. Here we are uh, a bit upset after finding out that this year there was no there was no Cartoon Network uh, picnic. Uh, that was sad because it was one of the things I was looking forward to the most. But well, instead we went and rented a pedalo. It was really fun actually. The the weather was so good. The the, the water was kind of warmish, but yeah, really nice. And after all this cycling and the swimming. We got to eat raclette sandwich. Um, amazing, did not disappoint. Here you see me struggling with the first bite. It was a little too big, but I survived and got to enjoy the rest of the sandwich. And look at this face of joy like come on you must try this look look at look at the happiness oh. 
and this was a Mexican party with the best music ever. Uh, the best music to party with, like reggaeton, bachata, like all the good stuff, all the things I enjoy when I go out to party. This was our last night at the Café des Arts. Uh, I feel really proud of myself because this year I managed to go six nights out of seven. Uh, I've met so many people. It was a bit crowded, like the festival in general was a bit crowded. Next day, it was time to leave. We got a crepe for breakfast, and then we had to get the, the bus to the Geneva airport. Most of our co-workers and friends were there with us, so that was nice because it made the waiting uh, less annoying. Here I am figuring out a dress I want to make myself with a fabric I bought in Annecy. Uh, every time I travel, I like to buy some fabrics or buttons and something like that. and. Yeah. It was a bit sad to arrive to Dublin and everything was like moody and like rainy and cold like oh, I just can't stand this weather but it's okay. So this is all uh Final thoughts of the festival. I had loads of fun, really loved catching up with people. Um, it was a bit too crowded this year. A lot of people have complained about it. Uh, I didn't get to go to any screenings. Everything was booked out and it was just like impossible. So I hope they fix that for next year. But other than that, like the experience was lovely. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know if I'll go next year or not, but either or I'll let you know. Uh, I would recommend you to try this at least once in your life. You don't need to go every year. It's a pretty intense experience. Like I was wrecked at the end of every day. because a lot of walking, a lot of talking. Uh, I'm not complaining, I loved it, but it is like pretty demanding. So that's all for this video, uh, catch you in the next one, bye!